I'm, I'm not dead yet. Welcome, fellow survivors of this terrible, terrible situation we were in. It seems that you have come to indulge me with your company, so I might as well tell you a story. This is part one to what if Naofumi was a werewolf born. <coughs> what the? What the fuck has... Oh, my head. I think I drank too much last night. But, where am I? Yeah, this is Naofumi. He's, like, he's looking around trying to see where he is and he actually finds the other three heroes. Who the fuck are you? As he's getting nobly angry, then, wait, wait, hey, who are you? First of all, we don't even know, the, uh, wait, did you kidnap? I was just about to ask you the same thing. As he grabs Montayasu by the neck and starts slowly squeezing him, this is when someone from the church is like, Ahem. who are you? I am from the Church of the Three Heroes, and you are the, must be the four cardinal heroes, the shield, the sword, spear, and bow heroes. As, yeah, now for me, he looks at his arm and sees the shields on. So it seems. Him forgetting that he's choking Montayasi while he's just trying to, it's like, I'm tapping out! <laughs> I'm, I'm tapping. I'm tapping out. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I have some anger issues. It, it's okay. Just please don't hurt me. It, understood. As, yeah, they do meet with the king. As Nafumi, as soon as he learns that who this is, he bows out of the most respect. Everyone's like, dude, what the hell are you do? He's the king. You have to show respect to the king no matter which kingdom you're in. Uh, ki wait, kingdom? As, yeah, the king crashed. He's pretty It's like, there's no need for that. But thank you for having some manners unlike them. As he does, let them do their introductions. Still skipping Nafumi, which, yeah, it also raises a red flag. First, it was uh, the whole uh, follower of the Church of the Three Heroes, which he knows, like, wait, there's four of us. Already weird. Then he, he's like, huh. So, I get the feeling he doesn't like me, or at least not the Shield Hero. Interesting. As he's walking off with the rest of them, looking back, being quite suspicious uh, about them. And when he, they do get, get along together, he does apologize profusely. Like, pretty much just saying, like, yeah, I, I, I was just... You see, before this happened, I was drinking, being married with all my people, and suddenly, after reading a book, I apparently came up, came here and was passed out due to all the alcohol. Like, how, how much did you even drink? Uh, let me see. Five barrels. What? Like, yeah, yeah, five barrels. Again, I am so sorry, uh, your name was Matayasu, was it? it? Yeah. Hold on, give me a second. Yeah, and this is when Ren just chimed in. Wait, you, you talk about your people. Were, were you part of an actual kingdom? But, yes. Huh, so you were celebrating. Uh, what, are you a noble, or... Oh, I'm a. I was recently crowned the Wolf King. But what? This is when they all just like, wait a minute. What do you mean, Wolf King? 
Well, I'm a werewolf. Excuse me? Uh, werewolves don't exist as his eyes flash and he does start to gain more wolf-like features with his ears starting to get more pointed, his nose starts to elongate as... Okay, 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 we believe you! Good. Now... <sighs> so... What about your... Places of, uh, residence? What? Where are you from? I think you just all say Japan. Oh, okay, I never heard of that place, so it's obvious that we are not from the same worlds. As they go down the memory lane, at least to history lessons. And yeah, enough of me. Oh, damn. As Rim just asked for a further explanation of him being a king and all of it. Oh. <clears throat> You see, long ago, after the defeat of the devil, me, as well as several other of my brothers and sister werewolves, team, just, just you could say, decided to rule ourselves. But we did run across the humans, as well as the witches, and, and so on and so forth, and they agreed. Wait, so there are witches and and uh, yes, and which they soon follow suit. I, being one of the soldiers who actually helped kill the devil, was already awarded a noble rank, in which I trained myself uh, immensely to the point where I could challenge the current king, my father. What? So you... Yes, we decide not to, you know, reward nobility to children, or at least to next of kin. We must earn it. So, I did. When I challenged him, oh, it was quite the battle. We decided to go full on wolf. He slashed at my throat, I slashed at his. We went for the guts, we went for the eyes, every vulnerability. Until, luckily, my age pretty much snuck up and provided me some aid. What are you talking about? My father was very old, or at least older than I was by large margins to a point where it caught up with him. As for me, I was more sp sp uh, spiteful and young, so I claimed the victory. Wait, did you have to kill it? No. No, I, we don't do that unless that is their final wish. Which, yes, he wanted to see how I would rule the kingdom in his absence. Then, we decided to celebrate. And, here we are now. As, yeah, there's like, what the fuck, man? It's like, I, I, as they just like, Ren so he stands up and he bows. And like, the, there's no need for that. Though I am noble, it is not this world. My crown is only in name, as of the moment. Without my kingdom, I am only a king who wants to... <sighs> uh, uh, now for me, what are you thinking? Uh... I was wondering, the Church of the Three Heroes, they worship you three, don't they? What do you mean? Well, think about it. 
when we were doing our introductions, the king completely and utterly ignored me. Allowed you three to introduce yourselves. I had to raise my voice to let myself be known. Despite my show of respect to him, he did not give me the same kindness. As for the man we met before I, well, when I was about to inflict critical damage to Mr. Motiyasu, <clears throat> which, yes, I am deeply sorry, you, you don't have to keep apologizing. Yes, he, um, anyway, he did reference the church. It's either they don't like the shield hero here, which is why I'm not worshipped, like you would most likely be, or something, something else is wrong here. As they're thinking, and it's like, oh, you, you do have a point, they were acting strange when you were going by but it makes no sense you're you're one of the four heroes why i do not know in fact we may need to actually do some research on this world before we decide to venture off i think that would be the best course of action as of now but first let's get some rest we may need it for tomorrow. As they do go to sleep. Next day, they are forming the parties. Just like in canon, no one wants to be with Nafumi. And once mine... <sighs> Don't worry, I'll call her by her proper name later on. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> That's right. I, I, he's a werewolf, isn't he? <clears throat> anyway, now for me, he's a little hesitant. Like he looks right at the king. And he's just like, "Are you certain you want your daughter, your own child, to be with me? All I can do is protect while she attacks." Lying through his teeth, because he's dead. You know he. Can we attack? Yo, Mojiasu knows that firsthand. As I allow it for now, as they venture off, in which, yeah, he does all initially things. He's not an idiot. He was able to gain some knowledge, but yeah, he notices something's obviously wrong here. He can smell that he can sense at least that other people are there he just doesn't know if he should point that out or like that mine know as he's like oh, something doesn't feel right something feels off here maybe I'm just overthinking things as he's just blocking while mine just cuts down monster after monster. In which it's time for the moment of truth. But this time, yeah, no, Fumi, he's not at the tavern. When mine does offer him drink and a lot of drinks, yeah, they almost put the bar out of business. So he decides just to go hunting. Hers is like, Oh, you got to be kidding me. How is he... How is he not drunk? I mean, that was one of the most... And she's just like... How am I gonna... <clears throat> and this is when... Yeah, Nafumi actually runs into... Mm, Motoyasu. With his party. And he's like... Ah, Lord Motoyasu. How's, how's it going? Oh, fine. I'm, well, where's mine? Uh, she's back at the tavern. 
She tried to get me drunk for some reason. She kept insisting that I drink more and more, which I did. <laughs> did you drink five barrels? Like, no, they didn't have nearly enough for me to get even a bit buzzed. In fact, what little, uh, little kick I did feel is already fading from me fast. <laughs> Seriously, it must be useful being a werewolf. Yep. <clears throat> As his party is like, wait, he's a werewolf? As they just draw their weapons, it's like, whoa, wait, 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 what, what's going on? As they account that he, in that world, werewolves are really just seen as uh, huh, ravenous monsters who tear through people like scrap paper. Is uh, wait, wait, I, I'm not that kind of. Wow, I did not expect this kind of reception. As Walter Yasu is, wait, he, he's. He may have some anger issues, but he's nowhere near as dangerous as you say. I mean, in his world, he's, he's like, shh, like, what? Shouldn't, shouldn't they know? He's like, not yet. As he just tries to calm everyone down. Which does work. As, yeah, now Fumi, he actually has a better view on Maltiyasu already. He's, um, do you mind if I hunt with you? But without mine? Yes. Something doesn't feel right about this princess. I'll try my best not to get in, a, in anyone's way. As, yeah, they see that he's, the, he's been sincere as all hell. Not, not really being mean or rude, especially considering they almost tried to kill him. So these do start feeling bad about what they were go they were gonna do. <laughs> and yeah, it's a very successful day of hunting, since his claws and fangs don't really count as weapons. Yeah, he can tear through as many monsters as he wants, actually impressing the whole party, especially Montiyasu. Whenever they do need some assistance, he weakens the monsters just enough so they can go in for the kill, helping Maltiasu's party as well as himself to level up. So, yeah. <clears throat> Next day, he sees that mine, she's sleeping and everything. So. Uh, well. I guess I had nothing to worry about whatsoever. That's good to know. As, yeah, they pretty much just go on leveling up as much as they can. Well, Narfumi is still just doing blocking with mine, is doing the attacking. But she is curious to how he's collecting so much experience without her. Then one day, she actually follows him to the woods, sees him turn into a werewolf, and freaks the fuck out when Nafumi hears the snap of a twig that she actually caused. He lunges at her, about to slice her open, but he's like, what? M mine? Shield hero? You're a... Werewolf. Yes. I am. As he shifts back, is like, uh, you're one of those monsters who, who, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not a werewolf from your world, I am a werewolf from mine, in which we do things a lot differently. Werewolf is a werewolf, that's all I need to know, as she runs off to tell her father, no, he's like, man, why are humans so paranoid? I get it, I get it, werewolves are dangerous, but not all of us are beasts. As, yeah, when he does end, end up being uh, escorted by guards, by spear point, yeah, he puts up no resistance. 
when he is about, about from the king, he's so we summoned a beast for our hero. This is a grave error that must be rectified. As yeah, they're getting ready to chop off Nafumi's head. Him just looking all sorts of pissed. But this is how they do things here. Him just ready to accept whatever fate comes his way. Until Ren, as well as wait, what's his, what's about here's name? Itsuki. Izumi. Wait, no, Itsuki. I think. As Montiasu, they stop this. They put up their weapons and demand that they leave him alone. <laughs> that he has done nothing wrong. In which, mine just like, he almost killed me. That as he's, he's just like, that's because you were following me and I didn't know it was you. I was busy hunting. It's like what, a poor villager or something? It's like, no, monsters. Wait, so that's how you got so strong as Montayasi was like Wait, you're you're going hunting without us? It's like wait Lord Montayasi, you knew about this? Like, yeah, I mean he he helps us when we're leveling up at night when you're sleeping. As Ren's like, yeah, he helps me and my party out too. Is he the same thing? Mine's just like what the hell? You've been helping the sh fucking shield as... Yeah, King Drash is like... Alright. Since the other three heroes do vouch for you... I will allow you to live. However... You will be outed as the beast you are. Okay. No need. There are no room for rejections. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, you don't care that you're going to be out as a beast. A werewolf. It, nope. Uh, you, you're not worried about how people would treat you whatsoever. No. Hell, I'm proud to be a werewolf. I don't see why I should even hide it, but I figured something was wrong with you guys, so I decided to keep it a secret, at least from you. Uh, uh, wait, what do you mean from us? <sighs> Listen, for some reason, you don't like a shield hero. You or your daughter. And considering that the Church of the Three Heroes doesn't include me, yeah, there's something sketchy about that. You definitely don't like the Shield Hero. Just looking right at the Pope. So, hey, mine. Can you get out of my party? Uh, what? Yeah. First, you try to get me drunk. Second, you pretty much try to get me executed by just saying that I was a werewolf. And possibly said I'd try to kill you, which I almost did. But luckily for you, yeah, I'm not a beast like you fear me to be. As, yeah. Now, for me, he just rises up, just breaking through all the spears. Like, what the hell? Wait, we were stranger. How are you this? As, yeah, he's like, give me one of those. He just snatching his spears. Like, watch. As soon as he swings it down, it shatters. Surprising the king, Malty, as well as, yeah, all the guards with only the parties of the other heroes and the other heroes pretty much like show off they're like wait you knew about this yeah I mean he didn't want any trouble whatsoever he just wanted to help out a kingdom him being a 
as Maldiasu is looking back at Nafumiza. Should I tell them? Might as well. <clears throat> as him being the Wolf King, he wanted to show you the utmost respect, despite you showing him little to none. Uh, you say this mongrel as... Yeah, Nafumi gets notably angry and lunges at the king with his claws in full, in full view. Was like, what's wrong? What's going on? Why, why are you? This this kind of treason. It's, you are not my king. You know nothing of the werewolf race where I'm from. And calling me a mongrel is one of the most grave errors you can ever make. But I don't feel like taking over a kingdom as of yet. As he just lets go of the king and just walks off. Ren, Motoyasu, Itsuki, I'll see you guys later. Is yeah. King, he's, he's clutching his heart just thinking about how close he was to death. As mine is... Well, stop him! As, as, yeah, a bunch of guards, and I do mean a bunch of guards, just surround Nafumi. Say, if you value your lives, walk away. This is your only warning. As, yeah, he grows in size as well as turning his fingers into claws once again. Almost going full wolf, wolf, but it's a hybrid form, you could say. As, yeah, they all charge at him with just one fluid motion. He slits all their throats and they fall down, bleeding out. Everyone's... How did... You're the shield hero. You shouldn't be able to attack. First, my daughter, then me. And now, how are you? My claws, my fangs don't count as weapons. Remember that. Next time you think about calling me a mongrel. As yeah, he walks off. Uh. Yeah, the other heroes and their parties are like, well, uh, that's over and done with. Let's let's get out of here and get try to level up some more. Maybe if we catch now Fumi, he'll be able to help us out again. Yeah, mine. She's. What what are we gonna do? Uh, our weapons, our soldiers, are nothing compared to him. We must leave him be. We can't risk getting on his bad side, not yet. Unless we have something, as the Pope just grabs the king's shoulder. I may have a solution to our problem, but I must know, how far are you willing to go? <laughs> how far? As seen face of black. Yeah, no, for me, he's just about to leave the whole kingdom. And everyone saw the crystal ball. They, they were going to alter the footage just to make him look worse, but uh, they didn't need to. He looked pretty bad, but on the other hand, they can't deny the king as well as everyone else besides the parties of the other heroes and them just like being complete assholes yeah the guards and everyone they deserve what they got so not no one really looks at him with hate and disgust per se they just they're just a little bit more afraid of him in this in this case which ugh, humans they're always willing to bear their fangs at someone they think is weaker, but 
when someone starts to fight back is when they cower in fear. It's like, no matter what, everything still just stays the same in one way or another. He heads to a tavern and just to stay for a night, find that end, maybe. This is when he does actually run to the slave trigger. So, what do you want? You hear to gawk at me, too? No, 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 no. In fact, I want to make you an offer. Hmm? <laughs> you see, as he does follow this late chair to his little tent or such. So, yeah, and now for me, he is horrified at the amount of slaves he, that this guy has captured. There are humans, there are demi-humans, but well, mostly demi-humans. Some of them have actually lost their ever-loving minds. He's like, I, what did you do to these people? People? <laughs> I'm sorry, my dear boy, but these are slaves. They don't have citizenship. Especially not here. Is <laughs> yeah, not for me. He knows he can't do anything, per se, because... Since it is legal in Melormark, yeah, his hands are tied. He could kill the slave trader and sell all these people free, but then what? The ones who, the demi humans and people who lost their minds, would go on an uncontrollable rampage and such. So, so, show me what you have. As, yeah, he does show him. The big brooding wolf man is like, Oh my god, what have you done to him? Hmm? Oh, nothing. He was like this when I found him. He seems to have actually lost his senses to a certain extent, but I don't know what's wrong with him. As, yeah, this wolf man, he's, he's clawing at the the clawing at them. He's bite, trying to bite through the bars. It's. I might be able to help him. What? Open the cage. Uh, but <laughs> I, I can't guarantee your or my safety if I were to do something like that, especially the people outside. The, the open it. Tell you what. If I can do it you give it to me for free if not I'll leave no hold on what is it if you can't do it you work for me hmm yeah yeah someone like the shield hero would definitely help with business as well as drive off any potential competitors. Ah, uh, like a true businessman. I like it. It's a deal. As, yeah. He pretty much just, just like, opens the cage. And the wolfman does lunge at him, not fool me. But with a stern look, his eyes glow red. And he says, bow. Causing... <laughs> This wolf man just like, just stopping his tracks and slowly but surely bow to Naofumi. This surprises the slave trader. Like, uh, how did you do that? I'm a werewolf. I'm sure someone in your line of work would have gathered such information by now. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Uh, indeed. But I didn't know you could... What? Command other wolfmen? Of course. Oh, on, give me a second. So, do a deal's a deal. Uh, uh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh, bless you, uh, Sir Shield Hero. Uh, thank you, Slave Trader. Now let's see. 
What's wrong with my little companion here? Wait, what? It seems like he's actually been poisoned. Mm. Ah, this makes sense. Uh, what is it? What did you find? Wolf's blade. Wolf's bane. That's a very strong type as well. But is it wolf's bane supposed to weaken wolf werewolves and such? No. It actually makes it worse. It makes it so we lose control of our primal instincts. So yes, whoever drugged him with this didn't know a thing about us. However, this strain, I've never seen anything like it. It seems like whatever does dilute actually replenishes itself, which would make sense why he didn't change back to his normal self. Wait, what are you saying? Yes, whoever thought Bull's Bane was supposed to make us more docile wanted to make it so yeah it was permanent but there is a cure here a cure how as Nafumi bites into the neck of this wolf man and starts spitting out every single drop of his blood him pretty much bleeding him dry as yeah this wolf man he just falls down just unconscious and dead like like what why did you do that this silence as he bites into his wrist and his blood trickles down slowly starting to revive this wolf man this yes. <laughs> As he looks up and sees now for me, you, how did you, uh, you see that blood on the floor, but yes, did, did, I didn't hurt you, did I, as he's looking down at now for me's wrist, like, nah, I did this, I bled you dry, trying to extract that poison from your bloodstream it worked however I did have to bring you back but how are you able to where was blood has healing properties it works better with other of uh, my lineage per se wait so it your blood can heal especially other war werewolves and such is like yes it really comes in handy as he hears coughing like what the what kind of merchandise do you sell here slave trader this raccoon girl seems like she's on the verge of death well I just got her recently Pre well technically recently people just keep sending her back saying how it's just a hassle to really take care of someone so sickly Ugh. don't say I guess I'll take her as well but, excuse me yes I'll do it but uh, I uh, are you certain I mean she's She's uh, about. She's very close to death. It, it will seem just a waste of your money. Money's no object. As he just tosses it, a bag of coins. I, are you certain? Yes, I'll take her. He him opening the cage. Now, for me, he just stretches out his arm. As Natalia, she bites into it. As yeah, it does nothing. Nothing we like, Well, she's like I got a fighter here. That's good to know. As yeah, so she does let go, she notices the shield on his arms. It, uh, you're the shield hero? Indeed. 
and what is your name, young one? Raft, Raftalia. Well, Raftalia, will you do me the honor of being one of my swords? Him, I was shaking his hand again. Raftalia is like, Okay, just holding on to it. And yeah, Nafumi now has two members of his party a wolf man, or at least, let's just say a beast man, demon, 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 in this case, and Raftalia. He's about to walk out <laughs> to a point where he's like, I hope to see you again, slave trader. In fact, Next time you find any more like him, bring them to me first. I'll take them off your hands. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, if you find any more wolf men or whatever, let me know first. As yeah, he just walks off. Slave chair completely in awe at this this man he just met he knew the shield hero apparently was strong but yikes we, he could never imagine this much and yeah when they do get to the same distance in the forest Nafumi does tell Raptalia to explain why she attacked him and what she does end up telling him about all her previous masters, all those who wronged her and such, how she ended up in this situation in the first place, which, yeah. Let's say, Nafumi is not too pleased to hear this. To the point where he lets out this murderous aura that just surrounds him. When Rachelia does get, get a feel for it, she is scared. What she sees is right there in the background. She sees a very pissed off werewolf ready to slaughter whoever's in his or her way. So yeah, he does take a second to get his composure back, but yeah, that did leave an impression. Don't worry, Raftalia. Just as you are my sword, I am your shield. We protect one another. My claws, my fangs are in your service, just as your blade is in mine. Remember this. Now, let's try to fix up your little ailments as he does take one of his claws and cuts his wrist pouring it into a small cup just telling Raja to drink this she's ugh no I, I can't do that as, as yeah Wolfman's like, trust me child it'll help as she, yeah, she remembers how he was before she didn't see what Nafumi did, but uh, if it, if it can help him, maybe it could help her as well. Uh, uh, oh, all right, Sir Shield Hero, call me Nafumi. Uh, sir Nafumi, <laughs> still with the Sir, huh? All right, just drink up, kid. As she does, and she feels instantly better. Her wounds that she did accumulate, they're disappearing. Her cough, her ailments, it's like nothing happened. Like she's fizz a fiddle. When he takes her status, and he sees a. Okay, good. Looks like my blood does still have the same properties it does in my world. <sighs> That's, that's good news. <sighs> uh, 
Are you tired, sir? Now, Fumi? Uh, more like bored. Either way, we need to get you better equipped. Let's go to the blacksmith. Which they do try to see what armors would use. Be more of helpful for Rattaya and the wolf man. Which he's more of a brawler type. Well, Rattaya, yeah, she's a, more of a sword maiden. But just like in canon, she is very hesitant to kill anything. Now, Fumi pretty much having to let her know that. Yeah, it's kill or be killed out here. If she's not willing to kill, she will be killed. He's nowhere near as ruthless or, you could say, mean as Ken Nafumi, but he does know war. He does know that sometimes you gotta spill some blood just to make sure that you can live to fight another day. So yeah, he's pretty much just making it so she's toughened up to the point where she doesn't even need to be told to attack. Which it does end up working after a few weeks. She does get a level up boosted to the point where, yeah, now for me, he's just pretty much weakening monsters just so they can finish them off and raise up their levels. Instead of him really helping, he just enables the monsters to really attack them. Pretty much going for the Achilles tendons as well as the ones in the shoulder, elbows. You know, so they're completely defenseless. No real challenge. Not until he actually just stays back and lets them run the show. He'll still get the experience, but he doesn't really want them to constantly depend on him for weakening a monster. This actually turned out pretty well. Ralph Jalia, she does still have the nightmares she has told now Fumi but yeah he doesn't really know how to fix that uh, unless it, she just conquers this fear by seeing this little devil dog again but what are the odds of that happening honestly and which yeah them and the wolf man um, I'm thinking about calling him Teddy. Yeah, let's call him Teddy. He does give them his backstory and how he had. He lived in a wonderful community that was attacked by not the ways, but actually bandits. Lee. But the bandits had strong mages as well as warriors with them and nearly wiped out his whole village to a point where he, as well as several of the men, actually ran ran in to fight them having the women and children pretty much run off and hope that they didn't get captured hearing this now Fumi he is still getting more and more furious when he sees like what the hell is this kingdom coming to it should protect its people not just let them rot in their own <sighs> Maybe I should have slaughtered that cake while I had a chance. I probably would have ascended to the throne and be able to fix some of these problems. As, yeah, he's muttering to himself while I'm in this murderous intent. And Rautaya, she's getting nobly scared, as is Teddy. Oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you again? Yes, but... We understand why our stories are a little bit, you know, sad. They're tragic. What happened to you two is not fair. This kingdom has failed you. But I will do what's it, ever's in my power to not fail you like this kingdom has. I will do my, what I can for you. 
all of you. As, yeah, Ralph Talia, her eyes brighten up at this. And this is when she decides to ask him, Do you think we could save my friends? Hmm? Your friends? Care to explain? And that is where I'm going to end this part off. Oh, man, you have no idea how many story types I go go this, how many scenarios. But, uh, I think this one could actually work. Since, yeah, there's only one season of The Shield Hero, I'm trying to stretch this out as much as I can. So, either way, good luck out there, survivors. And see you next time.